What is up with all these guys reading the map wrong? How are you supposed to find your nuts with one eye? <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. Guys, we are headed out right now on a spooky adventure to the Spirit Halloween store in Alliance, Ohio. And let me tell you, it is crazy out here right now. Holy crap, guys, look at this rain. It is pouring out here right now. It is dark, it is spooky, there is lightning and thunder, and it is a perfect day to go on a Spirit Halloween adventure. Oh, did you see it? Did you see the lightning? This rain is just pouring down and there is some crazy thunder. I've been trying to catch it on film here because it's so loud. And here we are. What the heck, man? Are they even open? It's 20 after 11. They were supposed to open at 11. I'm going to be very put out. Man, it doesn't even look like they're open, guys. But if you're still watching this video, you know that they are because it means I got in the store. All right, somebody else is walking up to the door right now. It's the moment of truth. Are they going to get in? The door is open. Yes. All right, guys, here we go. Alliance Ohio Spirit Halloween. I got my little shoulder buddy with me, and I am getting absolutely so I think it's been about three years since they had a location right here at this area in Alliance, Ohio. I did, oh, did you see the lightning? Holy crap, that was awesome. I did peek inside just to make sure that they were open. There were a couple of little fans. Oh, oh, oh my God, I finally got the awesome thunder. Holy crap, it's still rolling, guys. What in the world? This is the best day to be at a Spirit Halloween ever. And the best thing about this location is that if you look behind me, there is a spooky cemetery right across the street. And I guarantee that thunder just woke up every one of the dead. Anyways, like I was saying, guys, it's been about three years since there's been a location right here. This is a pretty good looking store. I did go inside for a second just to make sure they were open. There were a couple of little fans who you're probably gonna end up seeing in the background. I got to say hi and take a picture of them, but let's go ahead in. Man, for a minute I thought I got lied to. Let's go ahead in and check out this store guys and here's my little fans that saw me when we first came in we took an awesome picture together and now they get to be in the video <laughs> okay, before we get started, somebody asked me yesterday where I got this little shoulder buddy guy, and I got him from a place called Screamium Online. They're only like 12 bucks a piece. They're pretty awesome, and I thought it would be fun to bring one of these with me on every one of these spirit adventures this season. What do you think about that, buddy? Spirit! Spirit! All right, let's get in here, quit fooling around, and check out this store, guys. Look at this. I love how when you walk in the door, you can just see like a whole plethora of awesome spookiness waiting for us. We got the bags over over here look at this whole wall of spider webs over here this is totally awesome we got the shirts over here we got some plush over here i know there's something right around in here that i want to see but we'll come back to that a little bit later okay look at this poster I was in Canton's location yesterday, and I did not see this poster. Carnival, missed out on your favorite act? Scan the QR code to see them in action. All right, that's really cool. So we got all these animatronics right here that are available to buy. They each have a QR code. And here's one right here. I'm just going to zoom in for a second. You can scan that if you want to. And apparently it takes you to where you can watch each and every one of these animatronics in action. Wait a minute. The Dark Princess. Oh yeah, I have seen her. For a minute I thought I hadn't seen her yet. But look at this, we got Emily, Victor, Art, Ghostface, Giant Death Ray, Wanda Webworth, Bobby Strings, Max Straw, Nibbles, Ringmaster, Ghostface. Okay, so this is the animatronic Ghostface. This is the one that's static, but he still lights up and screams. We got the Night Terror, Demonic Gatekeeper, Cremator, Gravestone Ghoul, Towering Tallulah, who I saw in a video yesterday real quick and looks a lot better than I thought she was going to look. We got Cotton Candy Dan, Dark Princess, Barnaby the Bear, Gordo, Emmeline, Cauldronous, Crypt Keeper, Cer Cerberus, and Dagger Mike. I want to take a look at these t-shirts in a little bit here. Oh my gosh, they have a Billy Loomis t-shirt. We're going to come back to those in a minute because I just want to take a walk around the store. Look at this. We got Cotton Candy Dan waiting right here on the floor for sale for your Halloween pleasure. So this is a smaller store, so I don't expect them to have all the animatronics set up, but I may be surprised once we get to the 
back there. But we do have this guy right here, Mac Straw. And I love how they hang all the plush out here. Look at this, we got Michael Myers, Ghostface, and Sam on this side. What the heck is this? Is this a zombie seagull? What the heck? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I thought there were some more on the other side, but I think it's just another ghost face. We do have the Wheel of Fate over here that we're gonna play with in just a minute. But first I wanna take a look at Max Straw here again. I almost called him Jack Straw. <laughs> <laughs> he is so much more awesome in person than I thought he was going to be. Okay, so let's come on over here to the Wheel of Fate. I spun this yesterday in the Canton location, but I was kind of scared to actually spin it fast. There goes a running lady. It looks like it's pretty solid back here, though, so I think we're safe to actually spin it kind of fast. So here we go. See if we can win with this one. Will we win or will it be our skin? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, we came so close. It landed on the eye, the all-seeing eye. So all my skin is gonna get ripped off. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way back through the store here for a minute. I wanna see if they have any other animatronics set up anywhere. Like I said, this is a smaller store, but it is pretty long, so we never know. There might be some stuff back here. I see all kinds of zombie babies and all kinds of new stuff. We're gonna check it all out in just a second. Oh, I saw the secret keeping cat. Okay, so no, we don't have any other animatronics set up in here. However, I did notice we have a stack of jumping spiders. We we have the sitting scarecrow right over here. And then over here, hidden at the back of the store, we have two Wanda Webworths. I have not got to see her in action yet. I was so disappointed yesterday when she wasn't working at the Canton location. So she is $269.99. If you have a 20% off coupon, that's gonna take off probably about 50 bucks. I will more than likely end up buying her by the end of the season, but just not quite yet. The Hummer is actually full to the brim right now anyway, because I just cleaned all my crystals Christmas stuff out of my other storage location. Okay, we have a ghost face animatronic here. Okay, wait a minute. It's not the animatronic. It is actually the static animatronic. This is the one where the, the knife and his face lights up. He doesn't actually move, but he does make the slashing and screaming noises. Looks like we have another one of those right over here. And look at this. He's right beside the brand new for 2024 purple hair spinning eyes clown. This guy is pretty cool. Look at this. He is eight feet tall. He's holding a knife, which I didn't notice before, and his eyes spin. If you guys remember, I have the one that's 10 feet tall. I think he has either red or green hair. His eyes spin as well, and I believe he actually came from Party City years ago. His hair is actually like a fur, though, the one that I have at home. And remember, I left it out in the rain, and that fur was soaked. So this guy is $69.99. He would make a perfect clown buddy with spinning eyes for the other one. 20% off coupon would make him about 55 bucks. Let's look at the other inflatables since we're over in this area right here. I love this hearse right here. Look at this. He's It's 14 feet long. I called the hearse a he. He's 14 feet long and he has four skeletons in there. We've got the wolf up here. He's three feet tall. We've got the gargoyle. It's five feet tall. we got the ghost up here. Oh, he's an eight foot tall ghost. I think they have a shorter one than that as well. we got the hello rat that's three and a half feet. we got the jack-o-lantern that's four feet. We got a scarecrow here that's four feet. And then we have the trio of the killer clowns down there on the floor. Guys, everywhere I turn, I'm seeing things that I've never seen before. They have a lot of new stuff for this season. Like, look at this. In the creepy dolls, we've got Matchstick Mary. She probably read the map wrong with her one eye. Okay, let's see what kind of sound she makes. Where do you push it? Oh. What? Does she just scream? Is that all? Maybe she just yelled, one eye! I can't understand what she's saying because she's so very quiet and I don't feel that there is a volume button on her anywhere. But she is totally awesome looking. I love that little hairdo she has. And look at this, half of her face is eaten away where you can see her teeth. Gross! Of course, we got Monkey Chimes from last year. He's awesome. Who do we have down here? Loving Lilith. Oh, she's one from last year as well. And then we have Pestilence Pete. I have not seen him before, so he's new for this year. So he's like a Plague Doctor doll. What's he holding? Oh, he's holding a walking stick too. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what he does. 
He talks, but he's so very quiet. I do love how the eyes light up, though. Check that out. That is really cool. We got the demonic dolly down here that went viral, like, last year? No, two years ago, I think. And look at this. We have one called Pen Penelope Pigtails. And look, she actually does have a couple of little pigtails there. How funny is that? All right. I hate to be the person who pulls the tab, so let's not do that. Now, since they have the announcement over the head, the music's down. Let's see if we can... <laughs> I love the scream, just the one single little scream. That's hilarious. They got a lot of these dolls in here this time, actually. Look at this. We got the decrepit Hana doll, the butcher from last year, Eerie Emma. Oh, and more decrepit Hana dolls. Decrepit Donna, as we call her. Let me just take a walk back here real quick. Just make sure I didn't miss any animatronics that are, like, sitting on the floor for sale. Because sometimes they hide them around corners. Oh my gosh, they have some awesome new zombie characters we're going to check out in a minute over there by the Secret Keeping Cat. And we got to look at these guys on the end in a second, but first let's say hello to our classic zombie baby friends here. We've got a trio of rat eaters here. We've got two of the pumpkin eaters, Gutsy Gwen. Oh, they're not turned on right there. And they both have the tags on them. I hate to be the person to pull the tags. I don't know why. I just feel like as soon as that tag comes out, the battery starts draining. We've got a quadruplet of spider biters. A duo of hand eaters. We've got a crawling baby down here. And then we have the butt baby. He has a butt. All right, let's check these guys out on the end here. So last year, we were able to see the Pennywise, who is totally awesome and the ghost face they've got two of those and this year they came out with the michael myers horror baby this guy is totally awesome and by the end of the season i guarantee you i will have bought him these are so well made too they're heavy they're thick no thick jokes please and they're solid foam they're not like a hollow plastic or anything. Whoa, they've got a gargoyle skeleton. Look at the face on that guy. All right, so this is very cool. Look at these new zombie characters they have this year. Well, wait a minute. First, let's say hello to Scabs and Carrot, best friends forever. The secret keeping cat. There's a quadruplet of secret keeping cats. I even wore the secret keeping cat shirt today and they still won't tell me any of their secrets. We've got the creeping cats here. Here. And then look at this. New for this year is this crow. I think it is. He's not zombified, but he is a spooky crow. All right, let's see. He's $24.99. I would love to have a couple of those around the scare house. We saw the zombified seagull over there. And this guy, I don't know. I think he's hollow, but he's very solid. He is zombified, and he looks totally awesome. But yeah, I think he's a different material than, like, the secret-keeping cat. The secret-keeping cat and the rest of these are obviously, like, a foam-filled latex. But this guy, he just feels like he's a hollow plastic, but a very thick plastic. Says he contains latex, $24.99. He's pretty cool. And then this guy beside him, the zombified squirrel. Look at this guy. One, one eye. What is up with all these guys reading the map wrong? How are you supposed to find your nuts with one eye? <laughs> oh my God, I'm a dork. Okay, check this guy out though. The end of his tail is bonafide. He's it's been ripped off and he has bones sticking out and I love how he has two teeth right there All right, go back to your home Bucky. All right. I see we do have the classic hook eye guy and the hook head hog All right, let's leave some stickers here before I forget but look at this We've got these light up characters here, and these are all pretty awesome. We've got Annabelle ghost face We got this guy. Wait a minute. He's got a try me button Okay. Oh, no, he's not working either. We got this guy and this guy, and this is the one that everybody seems to be getting pretty excited about this year. The Crypt Keeper. He is pretty cool looking. I don't think he's light up, though. 
I think he is just a statue, $44.99. He is pretty cool looking. Look at that face. He is pretty creepy looking. I think I have two or three Tales from the Crypt DVDs. We've got lots of plush throws here, including, I think, two that I haven't seen before. We'll start with this one right here, Crazy in Love. It's Chucky. And look at that, it's reversible, so you can use the side with all roses or the side with the lovers. And then we've got this awesome one here from Beetlejuice, the brand new movie Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is coming out this year. And this one depicts Beetlejuice as a rattlesnake. Look at that. That is really cool. Black light fabric, too. It glows under the black light. Hello, Oogie Boogie. We've got a whole plethora of zeros here. And then look at this. We got a bouncy head Scooby back there. Look at this. I think this mask is new for this year. Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. I actually was watching that movie the other night. It's hilarious and it's disgusting. Oh, cool. Look at this. It's ghost face soap dispensers. This one has the silver ghost face. I guess you'd call it chrome. And it has blood on it. And this one has the classic ghost face on it. That is really cool. I wonder if this is a soap dish as well for like a bar of soap. Oh my gosh, look at this. They have dodgeball costumes and average Joe's hoodies. I haven't seen that before. That's cool. What is this? A Fortnite banana hammer, a peely pick pickaxe. That is hilarious. Okay, I'm just kind of wandering and looking for stuff to pop out at me that I haven't seen before. Here's a leather Catwoman jacket. Okay. Okay, this is hilarious. It's minion gloves if you're going to dress up as a minion. And it has three fingers. Dr. Eggman costume. I'm not too familiar with Sonic, so I've never seen him before, but that is pretty funny. Ugh, disgusting. The Terrifier. I think I actually have this mask at home. <laughs> we got the sunflower glasses here, some Terrifier socks, and a Terrifier sweatshirt. Dear children, do not watch Terrifier. Seriously, it's sick. We got the ghost faces here, and I think I have every one of these except for this guy, strictly because I don't get anything with horns, but it does look awesome. You can go back to heck, sir. I do love this giant cardboard cutout of ghost face up here, though. That is totally awesome. I cannot wait to see the new Beetlejuice movie. We got the Barbara mask here. I don't think that has anything to do with the mo new movie, but we also have the Adam mask. Where's the eye? Oh, the eyes are back here to put on your fingers. Okay, look at this. We got some masks from Nightmare Before Christmas. We got Lock, Shock, I Don't See Barrel, but we do have this one right here. Includes attachable spinning propeller. That is totally cool. I should get that for my wall in my movie room. That would be totally awesome, but I gotta think about what kind of space I have on my wall, because I have new posters coming, like six new posters I think, and I think I have a little bit of room at the end of them. I'm pretty sure lock, shock, and barrel would fit, because they're like longer and thinner. This guy's pretty big around, so I'm not sure if I have that much space. Here's a Jack Skellington mask. That one would probably fit. We got some Freddy stuff over here, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I actually have this glove. I think I bought it last year, and you probably saw it in my video where I built my own spirit store. Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. I also have one of these masks that I might put on the wall as well. They are definitely stocked in the Chucky department here. I don't think I have a Chucky poster coming, but that is a pretty cool mask right there. Okay, and coming up front here, there are two things that I've been waiting to see, guys, and this is one of them right here. These are the mini horror baby characters. I don't know what these are made of. Maybe some kind of a resin. They're $14.99. That is really cool. And look at this. We also have Pennywise here. And then we have Ghostface. And that appears... Oh, wait. There's some down here, too. Cool. All right. Look, we got Sam down here. That one's awesome. And it looks like that's all for the moment. But they do have four of them. And those look awesome. And the other thing that I want to find is the mystery bag clips. They have new mystery bag clips for this year. A new series. Whoa, guys. Look at this. They have a whole bunch of new ones for this year. These are the ones that I was actually looking for right here, but then I spotted the Hocus Pocus. And look, in this one they have J and Ice. And look, they also have Hollywood in his tie-dyed shirt. Look at this, we also have Wednesday. We have some Nightmare Before Christmas, which are these new? I think these are new, because I don't recall having that guy right there. We got Coraline here. 
trick or treat oh my gosh look at that that is cool i don't think i have those at all though maybe those are new for this year holy crap that other nate guy is gonna go nuts look at this killer clowns from outer space figural bag clips that says series two but i don't remember ever seeing series one and wait a minute what is this wait a minute first of all here's more horror clips series seven the lost boys that's cool and then look at this it's other spirit ones that are not the animatronics. It's just like ghosts and pumpkins and cats dressed up like ghosts. Oh my God, I'm gonna go broke this season. Not only that, but my pants are falling down. <laughs> All right, I gotta leave a few more stickers. Let's leave some for the zombie babies and the zombie squirrels. Hope you find your nuts. And we'll leave some here by this cowboy hat. All right, I'm gonna get the lock and shock for the walls downstairs. I'll find Barrel at the next store. All right, guys, here we go. We're taking off, but not before making the $5 donation. Make sure if you go into your spirit, when you leave, you make a donation to the spirit of children. And here it goes, right on top in the middle. Thank you so much. Okay, that was fun. It looks like everything is wet out here, but the rain has pretty much subsided. So you can see the spooky cemetery across the street there a little bit better now. Man, that place is spooky. And look, there's like steam rising back there. That is awesome. All right, and I know that I forgot to look at the shirts, but we'll look at them in the next store. It's only the beginning of the season.